All you can eat noobs. Non noobs. Welcome everybody to today's edition of Nom News. This is our ninth edition of Nom News. If you haven't seen the Nom News before, it's where we get hyped up on juice <laughs> and we read food news. Story number one. This is on in uh, South Philadelphia, born and raised. Uh, there used to be this Burger King, and you know what? Sometimes, you know, some places in the city, there's these like strange food, uh, fast food places that aren't like the middle America standalone buildings. And this is one of them. Uh, it apparently at some point was a Burger King, but they lost their license for whatever reason. And things got really nutty. So one, number one, they didn't have any Burger King wrappers. This meal is packaged in plain paper bags, Dixie cups, and served on generic brand buns. Yeah. Look at that. It's just like... Yeah. There's like lore that maybe there was a... Somebody, somebody caught one of them going out to the, the store, the grocery store next door buying chicken strips and patties or whatever. I mean... But, uh... And then, let's see, what else did they do? They continued to wear their uniforms, even though when their supplies ran out. And, uh... They apparently stole promotional material from other Burger Kings nearby. <laughs> what the crap? Are yeah. they trying to like make it themselves? Yeah. No, we, I mean, we've talked about another instance of this happening where the, the guy, that this person that owned the franchise, he just took off and they're like, we're not, I think it was a subway maybe that we talked about. So people, like, they don't want to lose the, their job. They just keep, they keep doing whatever they can to keep the job going, right? Here's their menu. It's like, it was, it's like a, it's like I a mean, corner that, store th menu. I should tell you. Immediately, this isn't a Burger King. You walk in, and this is their menu. Yeah, just because they had a Burger King yeah. like sign. Yeah, uh, they didn't. Yeah, no, they had. Uh, there's no price. You no, know, they have prices, and like, can cheeseburger can be single, double, triple, or more? Like that's what somebody pointed out. I thought it was funny, but I don't know. This is just another. This is this is another one of these times where this is to me. It's sad where the 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 owner. It doesn't work out or something, and they don't want to close it. They, they just like abandon it, and people that work there try to keep it going as best they can. And like, luckily this time, Burger King corporate somehow the Yahoo picked up this article. Burger King corporate uh, came in and they actually apparently bought the franchise, which I didn't know Burger King owns franchises. I thought they were yeah. just a franchiser, but maybe they can take them over. I don't know. So they made, they're making like an actual Burger King? I think they're turning it back into a legitimate Burger King now. Well, that's good. Hopefully they kept the people that work there. Yeah, I hope so too. Because, I mean, they're trying to keep it going with yeah. by themselves. Yeah, no, this is amazing. I mean, good like good job on like taking over because the people that owned it like completely just abandoned it. That it was seems. in 2014 they started doing this. So this happened a long time ago. They just like they just now like stopped it, I guess, Burger Wait, King. Wait, what was going for that long? That's what it said. Holy yeah. cow. Yeah, this went on for years. I thought it was just like a month. No, I think it was years. So they, they kept this up court. That's what it looks like. They kept it operating for years. Wow. On their own. Wow. That's story <laughs> number one. It's it, Apparently it was old. I don't know. I read it. I thought it was like, wow, this is like this week. Whatever. Next story. <laughs> what is this? What? This is a note since we were talking oh about Burger God. King. Oh, my God. Burger King block. All right. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while since right. we had a Burger King block. <laughs> Burger King in Italy is selling what they're calling social distancing Whoppers. The Whoppers have like three times the amount of onions that come on a regular Whopper to social distance the, <laughs> the, the vegetables. I was like, oh my God, Burger yeah, King. That's awesome. This is, that's awesome. Who works at Burger King? Like who comes up with these ideas? Oh no, this is, wait, no, this is another one that's related actually. It's this the same thing. It's another Burger King. <laughs> Burger, this is in Burger, this is Burger King, Germany. <laughs> They're doing, they're doing, they're doing, they're doing social distancing as well, but they have, they're telling you how to make your own crowd and stuff to like, so you can separate yourselves oh from other people gosh. in the restaurant. Well, that's, that's it for the uh, Burger so, King for today. So are you, are we sure? I had, I, come up later. I had, a, I think I had another one. I was oh, like, we had too much boy. Burger King in here. This is a. Apparently a quote AI powered robot that makes pizzas, but the reason I thought it was hilarious is that this guy he was like 
Uh, for loop is not an AI. I'm sorry. <laughs> and, and like, yes, this is a for loop. Watch what it does. It's not. There's no AI in this. And also, the hoppers are tiny. But so, so they have. Okay. It just knows how it does like a certain amount of time on each drop, thing and it, it just drops look, it. And then it puts like 4,000 gallons of if sauce. If anything AI based, if thing. it did AI, AI, hopefully it learned to not spray the sauce off the pizza. No, 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 no. It, it, no, no. And, I, so, and I, I just see a bunch of cross-contamination right here. This is making me like, I wouldn't want to get a pizza from this place. What, what do you mean cross-contamination? Because they have all these meats coming out in the same thing. Like, oh. how do they clean that? Well, I don't think they do clean it. Okay, because this isn't real, obviously. But no, I'm no, saying, no, no. Like, it's people, not. people could be allergic to some things. Like four, look at all that gross stuff hanging out the end. They got four hundred million dollars to make this machine. No, I don't know. I just, I assume that they probably did. All you right, know, so pic- picnic. I don't know about this. This stuff drives me crazy. Costco. Have they been to Costco? Go to Costco it's, because this is ridiculous. It's. I don't want to sound like I'm an old man, but that machine is going to cost more than their whole company's worth. I mean. Am I right? Yeah, they don't even have prices anywhere on no. their site. So and that, that other that other designed. that other one that we looked that we talked about once actually did have prices and you rented it. They told you how much it was. No, which it, it was, was expensive, good idea. but oh, it was a no. Better. It was like two thousand a month. It was yeah. These are going to be way more. I just want to be clear. We're all for pizza robots, like right behind us. I want a pizza robot. When we talked about it, but yeah. I'm starting to think that all the money that's being thrown at these companies, they don't really know what they're doing or how to make pizza. And they just need something to like apply their like techno kung fu crap to, and uh, JavaScript libraries. Next story because that one's dumb. <laughs> Starbucks is like booming around here. It seems like like every time you go by there, you tell me there's like 400 people in line. But apparently not everywhere is booming because uh, they say that their sales have reduced by $3.2 billion this quarter. Their adjusted loss of 55 to 70 cents a share, operating income will decline 2.2 billion in the period. I don't know if what, by what percentage that is. In the U.S., critical home market compared to comparable sales were down 43% in May. All the things have been improving in each passing week. 95% of the company's U.S. stores are currently operating even as many New York sites remain shuttered, um, that's a contrast so no, to China. So no, one, so no one's going to them. So 99% of stores are open, and stores in, in, in China are just down 21% in May. They have less people go, but they're spending more. Which yeah, they that's the thing that I thought to... was interesting. So when they go, they buy a lot so of like stuff. So the super like, addicted people are going there. This is telling you that this is a luxury good. That people no, no, can't it afford is, it and they don't want it. It is totally a luxury good. That's people realize they can't afford a, ten, a six, five or six dollar latte, like seven. That's you know, what it's about. Multiple but times a month. The thing that I think that's the most interesting about this is that their plan to accelerate the rollout of their pickup store concept. So it's a smaller format, and it's like it's like the place I went to in in Bangkok that was a window that you went you, like you ordered on the little tablet, and they shoved it out the window and you took off. So they plan to execute, oh there is, yeah. They, yeah, they plan so to execute this strategy over three to five year time frame. Rapidly evolving customer preferences hasten the need for this concept. For Starbucks to rethink its central concept of being a third place away from work and home for customers to relax. Remember they were starting to do beer and wine? Yeah. I think that, that they just throw that away now. Yeah. At least for the next couple of years. Yeah, maybe. But they're maybe planning to can't. open 300 new stores and they're going to close 400 company-owned ones in the next 18 months. But in China, they're going to open 500 new stores. That's On cr- to the next story! What is this? Tell me. Tell me what's happening. Right. You know, we tend to talk about impossible foods beyond all these burger substitute people. Well, yeah. Impossible Burgers has launched a new direct-to-consumer online store. So it's, maybe you don't want to go to a store and go get... You know, maybe you like impossible meat and you don't want to go to a store and get it. Or you don't have it near you, really. Mm. Well, in the U.S., the continental U.S., you can go online and buy, like, set amounts of it. I think the price has started at 50 bucks. And it comes in, like, a compostable, recyclable box. Really? Shipping is free because it's included with a cost for 50 bucks. But they also have different... different. It's more expensive than going to a supermarket when you buy that. Buy, like, buy it by, like, 50% or something, I, I guess. It's kind of expensive in the supermarkets I've seen. Was we talked about Wegmans having it, I believe. 
Mm-hmm. And it was like, I was like, I looked at it, I was like, oh my God, that's like kind of high. $32 for four. Yeah, it's, it's expensive. But for people that like it and can afford it and that's what they want, you know, like you can order it on their website now and get it shipped to you directly to your house. I'm but, just, uh, this is very, very expensive. No, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, the cheapest one's 50 bucks, but that's with shipping, which doesn't really sound like it. Yeah, I'm like, oh God, I'm going to get it shipped? Which, it's like four pounds of this stuff, because this is basically like a pound of meat if you eat meat. Wait, wait. Oh, the family pack. It's actually, it's a better deal. Maybe? You get five, one, one giant, pounds. One giant five pound package for 65, instead of four 12 ounce packages. That's actually a better deal. All right, next story. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, I think we covered something else before, like what, what your state's cooking. This is what your state's struggling to cook. And it's done by this place called The Daily Meal. Um, I went to their website once and it like exploded my phone. So just FYI, if you click on the links. Connecticut wants to know how to cook steaks right. Maine wants DC, to know how to cook fiddleheads. What? I don't know what that is. That's what a fiddlehead is. Wait, is it a... It's like a prehistoric, like, fern plant looking thing. Oh, can you buy those in Maine, I guess? I guess. And then uh, D.C. is quinoa. Florida is pork loin. Virginia is crab cakes. North Carolina, crab legs. I don't know. It keeps going. I just thought it was interesting. Yeah, it's all seasonal stuff. And I guess, I don't know what they're basing it off of. I guess it's Google, like searches. Google searches, probably. Probably. Like, a lot of it's seasonal. The vegetables yeah. are seasonal, and they're yeah. like crabs and stuff like Uh-oh, that. Oh, bacon in the oven. Hey, Idaho, <laughs> we got a video about that. Go watch our video. B- BLT sandwiches. I forgot we did that. Yeah. BLT sandwiches. Yeah, it does make it super easy. Yeah. yeah I literally, that might, be our, that might be our picture. It looks no, like our oven. No. We don't have it a... It looks like your hand. It doesn't look... We don't have a thing like that. It doesn't look like my They hand. stole our picture. <laughs> All right, next we probably story. couldn't do anything anyways. <laughs> yeah, no. That's what they said. What are you going to do about it? So there's this bakery called Grace, Grayston Bakery. And they specialize in hiring people who have uh, felony convictions, which means you can't literally work anywhere. 84% are from low income. They don't do, like, background checks or, like, drug tests or... You don't yeah. have to have an homelessness. Ad- yeah, you don't, yeah, you don't have to have an address. Like, they yeah. just want you to just come in and work and then yeah. you get paid. So, like, all the things that are put in place on purpose to keep people from being able to be employed, they don't do that and they do this on purpose so that they can actually employ people that are unemployable other places. For mm-hmm. whatever reason in their lives, yeah. uh, they had something happen that kept them from being able to be employed in other places. But Ben and Jerry specifically chose this bakery. To make their stuff. Apparently, I think they make stuff for other people, too. I think they've been using them since, like, the 80s. So, in 88, they started using them. Yeah. So, Ben & Jerry's has had these forever. This guy's a bo- an aeronautical engineer turned Buddhist monk. Yeah. He, it's, it's one of the first, um, what do they call them, B Corps? Oh, in, yeah. In New York or Yonkers. That's a new designation, yeah. so they must have just changed over to yeah. that. Yeah. But that's, like, the whole company's, oh. like, that's what they're set up to do. But, this and is they're not amazing. trying to make tons of money. They're trying to, like, help out. People and yeah, and they live. help this lady get her GED. This is awesome. Like they're trying to help people out in the community, and they put over fifteen million dollars back into Yonkers. So Ben and Jerry's is Jerry's awesome. Is, is and I'm glad cool. that they're supporting this 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 bakery in Yonkers, who's trying to help people. Go buy Ben and Jerry's if you're gonna if you got if you got six dollars, go buy a Ben and Jerry's <sighs> container because. Well, I'm just gonna say. The non-dairy brownie, fudge brownie one, is... They make that for them, I assume, too. Ah, I yeah. bet they just make it vegan. Oh, my God. It's so good. Yep. All right, oh. next story. All right. I thought this was pretty... This, oh, God. I threw it late. Oh, it came back. All right. I thought this was pretty cool. Um, mainly because I've never seen these, but... Frito-Lay launches new Cheetos Flamin' Hot Pepper Puffs. Which they make puffs, see like normal Cheeto puffs. Yeah, I've seen those. But they've never really had a spicy one or any other flavor one. Like they have like a jalapeno one. Like they're always crunchy when they do the flavors. They don't ever do them really in the like puffs. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's weird. The puffs are like my favorite. But now they have a, a flaming hot one. It's called. They're calling them pepper puffs. They're shaped like a pepper. It's not a puff anymore. It's literally. It looks like a like a. It looks like a habanero pepper. Or something. It literally, it looks wow. like a pepper. Like, they have these puffs. They actually made them come out of the and machine. And they look nuclear. Yeah. That's what flaming Hot Crunchy ones look like. So, it's like the same. Wait, maybe they did have flaming Hot Puffs. 
before. Ooh. Maybe, well, that picture looks really old, though, so maybe they didn't. They're rare. Like, I've never seen them in the store. Yeah, they're like a they're like a Mewtwo, right? This is a, let's see, there's one. There's a little turd. Yeah, they're, I'm going to find these and I'm going to eat them. I didn't know that we should just do a story about this. I didn't know Cheetos had recipes. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is this? Yeah, they got a whole bunch of them. I approve of this. Look how they <laughs> taste it. They, like, got a, like a real person that knows how to take pictures to take pictures. Of some yeah, of these too. Did. Like, they put some work into that. Look at Cheetos steak. Look at that there. It's on fire. Yeah. They flamed it. Yeah. Oh, that's... This is awesome. Cheetos. I like this. Yeah. That looks like Applebee's. Yeah, it does. Applebee's. What are you doing? <laughs> you want to get the millennials and the what younger you kids doing, back baby? in? Oh, look. You, you can get this and go back and forth between all of them. All right. Well, we can go to the next thing. I just thought that these Cheeto puffs look pretty cool. Onwards and upwards. Next story. All right, what is this one? We got more chip news today. All right. Pringles has rolled out a new limited edition flavor of Pringles. Wendy's Baconator flavor. The chips taste like Baconator. Like a Baconator. This is a real product? Yeah. I tried looking for it last time I went to the store. Our store doesn't carry a bunch of weird bacon, like Pringles flavors, but this... Pringles has all kinds of weird flavors. Like they're the only oh like major brand doing weird flavors. This is the weirdest one. I like one. how it's got artificially flavored as large as the bacon. Oh, because they, probably because they legally have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, it's I, almost I, as I, big as the Wendy's. Logo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to find these and get and try them because I bet they're they might even be vegan because because I've. I love that they're bringing these kind of chips over because Japan has had this forever yeah. and like Asia. Yeah. They have weird flavors of chips. Yeah. Alright, so Asia Block. Lawson's well, I don't know uh, like Karyage Kun has received approval from the Japan, the JAXA, which is the NAS of Japan, to be the f country's first konbini space food. Which what he means by that it's the first food from like a convenience store. That's been approved to be a part aboard, uh, like the <laughs> International Space System Station or whatever and everything. Yeah. They, they've been working on this for a long time. So it's actually going to be space food. No, it's like they've figured out how to make it, and it's been approved fully to go to go to space. What? Wait, did that's, they actually send one? To this space? was in 2017. They were talking about doing it, and they sent like a weather balloon up. Yeah, this is like a, for advertising it, I guess. That's what we need to do. Um, but they've. They've taken a while and they like refined the flavor and like figured out how to do it. And they finally just got it approved. Uh, sitting around for a year and a half was tested to still be hygienic and therefore deemed suitable as an official space food. And that's longer than it was supposed to be, I think. Than the, like, that they required. Is th this, these are just chicken, fried chicken nugget things, right? Yeah. They're going to eat fried chicken in space now Event because of Japan. Well, it, yeah, eventually. I don't know if anyone else has had it, but Japan's... Like Lawson's brand, which has been around forever, and all the people in space from Japan probably they've had it. They know what it is. It's yeah. gonna be there. So yeah. that's pretty amazing. Just Next the, story: Ramen flavored shaved ice is coming to Tokyo just in time for the summer heat. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> it sounds amazing to me. <laughs> Instead of a bowl of noodles and broth, you get a you get noodles and shaved ice. This okay, so there's ice, so so there's ramen actually, noodles underneath it. Oh no no no! There's, ice is made from miso ramen. Yeah broth. yeah, they freeze the broth, but it still has noodles. It still has noodles. Okay, so it is almost like a ramen. So you can st and you can also get chashu roast pork bean sprouts and minma bamboo shoot fermented bamboo shoots. This right. is crazy. I thought it. I think it this, would be really good. This, I, I want to try it. Yeah. I would try it. It'd be so weird though because it's cold. <laughs> I don't. But it is really freaking hot, so I could see this being pretty good. Because ramen just makes you warm, like it's a soup, you know, so. Oh, I forgot about this. The guy that made the game Seaman, and he also made Sim Tower, but he now has a restaurant in Tokyo. So, it's just called, I guess it's just called Tora Tokyo. Uh, but it's a hamburger shop. It looks like a burger with some kind of like, like almost like a slider. Yeah, they're like sliders. Or it's like cooked on like a hot dog bun and they just cut it in half. They have a set down here. You got soup and fry for 1,300 yen. Mm. But I just thought it was neat that the guy that made that made uh, Seaman now has a restaurant you can go to. And like you might be able to go and just hang out with the guy that made Seaman because he has a restaurant. He's an interesting guy. <laughs> He's he made a game like Seaman. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's next to the 2020 Tokyo Olympic Stadium is where they put this on. Oh, okay. Um, next, next story. story. Beyond Meat looks to be expanding with KFC in China. You know, I'm trying to, they already announced a plant-based chicken nugget test in April using Cargill. I Cargo, remember that. And Beyond Meat wasn't a part of that announcement. So oh. maybe that didn't work out too well and they're going to Beyond Meat. This might be good for them because Tyson's having to close a, f a facility. Oh. But yeah, KFC might be using Beyond. We don't know. It hasn't happened yet. In China? China. KFC did, China. They did it in uh, the UK already, right? In parts of Atlanta or whatever, too. They were testing vegan Was it nuggets. Beyond? Pretty sure it was Beyond. Yeah, we Because it's impossible, that. and then they don't make anything else other than beef that I know about. All right, onwards. This was like a National Children's Day in Japan. And KFC Japan, to commemorate it this year, they dressed their little statues of Colonel Sanders up. Which, like, all of them have. They have a statue of Colonel Sanders out front. Or like, it's <laughs> Even in the mall, they had them. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's kind of weird. Yeah. but They dressed them up like samurai. Oh, it was the 50th anniversary, too, uh, of KFC in Japan, I guess. So it's about 30 KFC restaurants took part of it, took part in it. I had, some of them were small, some of them were big. Oh, yeah, Sengoku era, samurai, Ekichi Mitsuhide who was the main character in the year's Taiga drama, the, an annual year-long historical drama on NHK. They're pretty crazy. And pretty they cool. all designed them themselves, the people who worked at the store. They did That's it. Pretty cool. It wasn't like a corporate thing. That's pretty cool. Just like the one, just like our lead story where they just ran the breaking themselves. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently because of what's happening in the world right now, Tsubora is one of Osaka's oldest and most colorful eateries. It opened in 1920 and known for their affordable fugu. What is that? Poisonous, like, below puffer oh fish. Oh, my gosh. So they sell that, and it says affordable, so which is rare. I, did expensive. we see this when we were there? I, I don't, don't remember this. I don't this. remember that. That's a really old picture. It looks like it's on the same street as where we went. It probably was, but I don't know what it was. Like, we didn't know what it was. Everything's in Japanese. We have video of this area. We should go back and look and I see. Don't know, we tried to stay it. away from everybody when we were there because there was so many people. It was hot. Oh, that's true. And everybody was scared of us, too. <laughs> uh, and we smelled probably. Like yeah, that. that's what it was. We smelled. They were like, oh, God, these guys. Yeah. So apparently they're closing. And they've been here since 1920, so... Yeah, <sighs> their business... Maybe like, they'll reopen. Maybe. Hopefully. If they sold fugu mainly, that's a, that's a high-end product. And I was reading um, they're having issues with the high-end stuff. Like, they're selling it like a lot cheaper, like Wagyu and stuff. Uh, all right, so next story. Uh, don't eat these cup noodles because they're actually a super realistic full-scale model. What? It looks like it... Yeah, but look at it. look at this. What is this? It's this is a bloated diagram. This is Bandai. They make apparently really it's high It's a risk. kit? Yeah. Like a like a like, like a Gundam or something. Gundam? Yeah, or whatever they want to make. Yeah. Oh my god. Bandai makes gosh. a ton of these apparently. Like they actually took a part one like a noodle and scanned it with this crazy oh scanner gosh. robot thing. And you can I tried to look how to pre order it. I couldn't find it in the, on the the site where they had the American <sighs> stuff, so so this is supposed to come out in September. Uh, the, there the, it is. Oh, see, so you can order it on here. They don't have it on the American one. Oh, though. there's an American site, huh? Yeah. I don't know. I just thought it was pretty pretty cool. And if I can find it, like I'm going to get one and Hobby get it. Hobby online and, shop. I'm going to get it and put it together, even though it's kind of ridiculous. I could buy a cup noodle and just put it on the shelf. No, it's like this would be thing. awesome. And it's exploded. Yeah, that'd be cool. I don't, I don't know. There's a so. video. I don't know. They, no, I don't think that's this is how this worked. They like worked on this themselves with Nissan. <laughs> <laughs> If they could, if it, there's a way you can like put it in the exploded diagram way, that would be awesome. But I don't know if it has like little things to hold everything. And this is amazing. <laughs> How much time did someone spend this making this, awesome. like making this model? <laughs> like they all, it like it's super realistic. It's pretty amazing. 
For 22 bucks, like, that's not, that's pretty, that's a lot cheaper than I thought it would be, too. I thought it would be like 80. They put this thing on the top. I thought it would be like 100 bucks or something. Next. All right, so this, I found this. I thought it was interesting. There's something called Pure Gummy in Japan, and they put out a Pikachu. They're like little fruit chew things that are Pikachu, sort of kind of Pikachu shaped. They're like the things that you get on the counter, you know, like when you're checking out or whatever. I, I read about this. The uh, Sora did a thing about it, too. Okay. Um, yeah, some of them are Pikachu. I think some of them they said are hearts, too, because that's like their normal ones are hearts. Uh-huh. So, but it has like a, like electric flavor is what they called it. Okay. So it's like a fruit flavor. Like, it looks like tropical fruits, but it has yeah. like a, something to it that makes it like carbonate when you bite into it or something. Huh. So it has like a tingle kind of thing. So well, they're apparently me. sold out. They're apparently... They're apparently sold out. Oh. So that's what that's what this first article was about, is that they're sold out, and they're trying to restock them because people like them so much. We can't, so. We can't ever have anything like this. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's so cute. I don't know if they made a bunch of them. It was 150 yen. Yeah, 150 yen. That's when they sold out. There's one guy, the same guy that went to... Oh, they made like 30 of them. <laughs> it's the same guy that went to the Pokemon Yoshinoya Bowl and bought all of them. He bought all these too. They, they did, Same guy. They so that was Pokemon Pure Gummy... Uh, no, P Pure Gummy Pikachu with special flavor are sold out in Japan. So next thing, we're moving to China. And I don't know where this is in China. I don't know if it's the entire of China, but uh, Oreo and Pokemon are making wafer roll-up things. It's just a wafer with like a filling of some flavor yeah. in it. But apparently they have different versions, so they have... It's like a mint one, or a lime? It looks like a regular, lime. it looks like... You know, that, no, that's some sort of... I don't know if that's or a lime. Or tea, that could be green tea. I can't, I don't know these characters. Because that kind of looks like a green tea. Some, some sort like of cream. Tea. And that's like dark chocolate or something. And then they have other ones. Oh, other than Pikachu. Yeah, they have a Bulbasaur one, and they have a, a chocolate one for Charmander. Oh, like the green. It's like that's like the that's pretty cool. I like that. And I forget Topri. Yeah, they, like they the, have look little roll things. Huh. Little nug nuglet things. I don't nuglet, know what it I don't is. Think <laughs> nuglet's a word. But <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> it's in nugs. Yeah. Oh. So it's not just like a few. Like they have things. Uh, it's like a ton of them. Wigglytuff, I think. I can't remember. And Jigglypuff. And that's is it? And the one above that's Togepi. Oh yeah. And then there's uh, Pikachu has a little roll up ones too. So they have like a uh, bunch of flavors uh, and like different types. Yeah. They're those. They're like cereal, cereal straws. Straw. They are yeah. cereal straws. Yeah. That's what they are. Lightning round. <laughs> 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 I'm sound of <laughs> So this, I have no idea where it came from. Obviously, it came from a magazine or something because there is a shirt sleeve on the edge of this picture. But uh, everybody on the whole internet, Tegan, Christy Tegan, that's her name, right? She, They all just know. stole the picture and re-uploaded it as their own because, you know, that's what you do when you're on social media. So it was all over the world. And it was people picking their favorite sandwich from the encyclopedia of sandwiches. I don't see a bon oh, I do see bon me. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it has, it's, it's, it's it literally has almost everything. And this is like a long time ago. And this is yeah, this Torta. Is but see, it even has Euros and it has other stuff too, so. Is that a hot dog? No, good. they better not. There are no hot dogs because this. hot dog is talking about it. It's not really, it's a sandwich. But Pita, really cheese salad, veggie and hummus. So like this is a recent, I would think veggie and hummus, That's and with sprouts, this is a recent thing. Pick which one you are, I guess. Which one yeah. are you? Which one am I? I already know which I think which I, one I, are I'm you? A, I'm a bunch of these, so yeah, I don't no, know. No, I know, yeah. Like, is there anything better than a sandwich? Not really. Well, I guess one that I eat probably the most frequently is a PB&J, because PB&J is yeah. classic. I can yeah. eat that all the time. But he's got torta. That's what I'm talking Tortas about. Tortas are great. That's what I'm talking about. Torta. Tor Honestly, if I had the tor if I had the option to have tortas every day, I probably would. Yep. Tortas are awesome, because yep. it's got... Everything on all on the sandwich. Screw pizza baking machines. I want a torta making machine. All right, we're this supposed to be lightning round. What is all right, this? lightning like, round. I found two. this person. They made this crazy burger generator in Blender, and they can add the different toppings, and they can add here. I'll zoom in so you can see. Like you can add patties. 
all this is generated in real and, time. Yeah, no, it's the new EV renderer. You see how it's kind of fuzzied in? Yeah, because yeah, it's, 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 time, it's real time. What the crap? Yeah, Eevee's amazing. That one guy I told you he's making a whole movie just freaking rendering in real time. I mean, it looks real. Yeah. There's his. There's oh, you can like go through and like turn off the shading and everything. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. What is this one? This is a one person mini tempura frying pot. It's like the size of like a half little like loaf pan. And look, it, it barely uses any oil. Like compared, they said how much it is. I think it's like 600 milliliters, which is like, like not very much. It's like a cup. And poor is like the half. biggest thing ever. This is, uh, it, it's literally, it's like a loaf, bread loaf pan that they made a little, not as long. And then they're like, here you go. 31 bucks. And they got me looking into like deep fryers and stuff and like how to get rid of our frying oil. Because we've been frying a lot of stuff this season. <laughs> and OG meals, so... <laughs> If I can use even less oil, I would. You can tell from the picture how small it is, though. Like, look at his chopsticks. Look, those are shrimp. But shrimp are normally like oh, this big. Oh, yeah, it is small. It is like, this pot is like yeah. five or six inches by oh, like, yeah. like a few inches. Like, you only go a few inches deep. It's tiny. Thank you for joining us tonight on tonight's newscast. If you made it this far, then you have need something else to do. <laughs> and we will see you on next week's episode of Nom News. Could also be next month. Who knows? Because the news is depressing. <laughs> next time. <laughs> on Nom, Nom News. Nom. Oh my God. <laughs>